In this little video, I acquire what I need to fix my anchoring systems. Enjoy. Hear the dog. The last time I used this, it was about the dog's life. <laughs> now it's the opposite. Okay, and so I thought I'd talk to you about the ropes that I got because when I last went, when I went out on my boat's major expedition to find out what's wrong with it, I discovered that the um, the anchor system is just not up to it. There were plenty of anchors on the boat, but all of the shackles were all seized up, so you couldn't use any of them. And the, there's only a chain for an anchor, and the chain is only just the bare minimum of chain that you might need, I think about 30 odd meters. And so it wasn't long enough. And I noticed when I was at Morfra anchored there, the chain was really jerking and you know felt like it was going to pull the boat to pieces and so what I've done is I've gone over all my anchoring systems and I've got what I need to fix that up so I'm going to go over that with you if you're both the same so this is a, what they call a snubber and the snubber is got uh, it doesn't have to have a hook it can just be tied onto the anchor chain but the hook is nice to have and it hooks into the chain and so it's easy to deploy um, you just simply hook this into the chain and then put some more chain out and tie off this off to a, to a bollard and um, you've then got a, a piece of nylon with a bit of stretch in it instead of just a chain over your bow roller okay so um, the size of this is I, I chose 10 millimeter. My main anchor warp, they call it, is 12 millimeter, so it's one size down from my main one. And it's a useful thing to have on the boat anyway. Uh, it's a hook on a piece of rope. So I've also I've just tied it on with a bowline, so I can untie it and tie it to other ropes like a halyard. I can tie it to a halyard. Uh, on the boom to to pull up pull a dinghy on board or, or an engine out or something like that and so it's generally a useful piece of rope to have and so this will live on my bow somewhere and I still have to make a place for that so that's what that is and um, so that's a snubber the next thing I'll show you the next thing Okay. All right, this is the anchor warp, which I'm going to use to extend my chain. And so the chain's on one end, the other end gets attached to the boat, and it runs through the, I don't know what they call it, where the chain comes through. Don't know whether that's going to fit through. Hopefully that fits through. I hope it does. I'm th I think it might. Anyway, I got one that's had a, already had a um, an eye on it, and the other end has um, is also finished off. Yeah. So ready to go. Twelve millimeter nine on this. This is all nine on nine on uh, sinking line what you use for anchors and it's expensive stuff and so I got the minimum amount that I think I need is about 
45, 50 meters here, and so this extends my anchor to about 80 odd meters, which should be just enough. If you have too much of this stuff, that can also be a problem because it can take up too much space and weight the front of your boat. So to sort of balance this a little bit with the size of the boat, it's a good idea. Okay, so that's the front of the boat. There's another object I got. All right. So if you saw this bit of rope in my Political Correct movie, then you would have seen it's now on a special uh, roller. What this is, is a garden hose um, reel. And the idea is that it ties into the bow rail so that at the back of the boat, not the bow rail, the, the opposite of that, the push pit, the stern rail. And so um, it worked out well because there's just enough, there's a hundred meters this is quite thin stuff, it's eight millimeter this, and um, it's not designed to be the only uh, thing that's holding your boat. It's really an extra line that you can take in your dinghy and take it to the shore and tie off your boat to the shore. Um, the line floats for that purpose. and. If you want to set a kedge, what they call a kedge anchor, which is an anchor that sits off the back of the boat, then you can take it out in your dinghy and drop it over and um, recover it afterwards that way. And the idea is that this is, makes it easy to stow such a long length of line. Okay, so that's what that's all about. And the other thing that you can use it for, I, I, I've, I've always had one of these on my boat since ever since I lost my main anchor. I lost my main anchor because I was in a situation where I needed to throw the anchor in an emergency. And it was quite deep water, very deep water in fact. And the whole anchor and, and chain and, and rope went to the bottom. And I saved myself from what was going to happen to me. And I had lunch and, and when I came to pull the anchor up, it was stuck really, really fast, completely fast in an area that was too deep to do anything about. And I tried for about an hour to free the anchor. And in the end, I just had to cut the whole lot off. I put a float on it and then I went to um, the nearest place I could find to try and find a diver who, who could come and, and recover it. And the cost of recovering to, for a diver to come and recover my anchor was more than the price of buying a new anchor. And so I told them where it was and I bought a new anchor. So ever since that time, I've, when I got the chance, I made sure that I had um, an inexpensive anchor line, quite a long one. So if I want to anchor for fishing or something like that in some deep water, I've got the ability to do that. Um, and if I'm in an emergency situation and I want to just like chuck an anchor in just to hold me, um, you know, just to stop me really, not in difficult conditions, but just, you know, say I'm I'm heading for a shore or something like that and I just need to chuck, and I don't know what the bottom's like or anything, then what I can do is I can just take this, the anchor that's on the stern of the boat, attach it to this and throw that overboard and then carry the line up to the front of the boat and stick it on the bow. And th th what this is, it's, it means it's I've got an anchor that is a little bit more disposable than my expensive four anchoring system. Well, that's why 100 meters of cheap rope. I think this rope was it was less than 20 pounds for 100 meters, and it's called polypropylene. This stuff, and it's quite strong stuff. But it's not that nice to to work. It's not doesn't take knots that well. It unravels fairly easily, and so it's a bit of a pain. It's not the sort of thing that you want to be using all the time, but it's okay. It does the job for 
this kind of application. And the hose reel wasn't expensive either, it was about £10. And so um, you have to make the thing that arrives in a flat pack. Um, but I chose one which I, there was a few to choose from, I chose one which I thought might go well with the boat, uh, look, looks wise. And um, it also has an orange handle, which I like in everything that I, you know, the handles part's going to break, isn't it? So orange, it's all plastic and, but hopefully it's uh, treated well, treat it lightly and it probably will last okay until the sun gets it. So that finishes the anchoring part of the system and I now have everything that I need. I have all the good shackles to attach it with. I've painted up, sorted out the problems with the various anchors and obtained the warps that I need to attach it all to. So it's just a matter now of taking all that down to the boat and stowing it on board really. Um, and I'm still waiting for my jigsaw to carry on with some of the other jobs that I have to do. So, more coming up soon. Thank you for watching.